player for Kings of Leon, let's give a very warm welcome to Mr. Jared Fallowell. What's up, brother? Good to, you? Good to see you. Long time no see. Yeah, a few hours. Here's what happened. I was, uh, I, was, I was out with some friends last night, and we ran into this guy, and I said, what are you doing tomorrow? And he said, nothing. So he's here. Yeah. That's how it happened. Yeah, and true. I heard a rumor that you might still be a little drunk. Um, barely. <laughs> a little bit? Yeah. He, he actually he sent out this tweet a little bit ago. Here's the tweet. You said, a tame night turned crazy. I agreed to an MTV interview last night at some point. I am beyond hungover. I'm wearing sunglasses to MTV, 5 p.m. Yeah. You don't have them with you? They didn't let you bring them out, they though? What me happened? I couldn't wear them. Oh, come yeah. on. What happened? I'm saying, can we dim the lights for Jared, please? It's ridiculous. He's a bright. little hungover. That's horrible. Uh, let's uh, let's get to something that a lot of people have been talking about the uh, the feud between Kings of Leon and Glee. Did you guys like? You just said you didn't want them to use use somebody, and then this turned into something. What's... Yeah, it was actually a uh, wrestling match at one of our concerts. We got into it with them backstage. Um, I don't believe no, you. No, I'm just joking. That didn't happen. <laughs> um, no, yeah, we just used somebody was kind of everywhere at the time and, you know, all over the place, so we just decided not to license it to anything. And that just happened to be the biggest thing that we had to turn down, you know. Yeah. Um, it was nothing against the show or anything like that. We're all fans. Did I, I hear that, like, Gwyneth Paltrow, of all people, is now trying to, like, making a, make it, like, things, make things right? Yeah, I think she is. I don't know how that happened, but I think Nathan knows her, so. So there's no bad blood? Yeah. All no, good? Absolutely all Between good. Between Kingsley and I've the, the record. I've got all the girls. The re so do I, dude. Yeah. The record is, uh, is straight now. Tell us about Pyro. The, uh, the video is amazing. came out a couple months ago. Tell us about Pyro. Um, we actually shot it in New York with one of our friends, Casey. He produced it, um, and it's just, uh, it's, it's set in a bar. In the end, has an interesting twist. I don't really know what it's about, but it's <laughs> you are cool. you are a little drunk, I think. Maybe maybe yeah. just a little. It's hungover. Uh, you guys are doing Coachella. You're one of like 181 bands listed to play the huge three-day music fest that is Coachella. What details can you give about uh, about your performance? Um, the performance, I'm not sure. I'm, it's my favorite festival in the world. Yeah. I went last year just to uh, hang out and go to the festival with me and my friends, it's amazing. Do you guys try and plan something like a little special for a Lollapalooza or a Coachella? Absolutely, yeah, we're kind of thinking about stuff to do right now. I don't know what it's gonna be, but maybe have a, a guest on stage with us or something. Aww. Yeah, there's some cool people playing that day. All right, well, uh, we'll keep our eyes open. Yeah. And uh, you guys have just been on the road constantly. Uh, May 28th, I think you're headlining the, uh, the Slane Castle concert in Ireland. That's just yeah. a very historic venue. Have you played there before? Never, no, I've never even been there, but it's amazing. It's the 20th anniversary of Slane Castle, and it's sold out in 40 minutes, I think. And like what can we expect at that 000. show? Is that going to be? Is that going to be anything? I mean, hopefully, something yeah. Something special there. Yeah, I, I love doing big, yeah, uh, big concerts like that because you have like a day of music. We get to pick four or five bands to open up for us. And right. We did Hyde Park last year in London. Really Are you doing cool. that again though? Yep. You are twice. doing that again. Yeah. And I want to go back to the Ireland show. You said you it sold out how quickly? I think 40 minutes. And I think that was like five minutes quicker than you two sold it out. That's true, which is crazy. That's insane. We yeah. have uh, we we asked for some questions via Twitter. We've got some Twitter questions. Uh, what's the ex Mrs. Brightside is the uh, is the Twitter the Twitter user there? Uh, they want to know: Would you ever grow a massive beard like your brothers? Um, I always thought about doing it when I grow up. I don't know, maybe when I when you grow up. Yeah, no, I, I don't think. Have I you ever done it though? Have you ever had the thing? The, I can't the do Grizzly that. Adams I don't know beard? if I could do that. It's like really patchy when it comes in, but okay. some people like. Would it. you guys want to see don't. the beard? I hear I hear some faint woos out there. Now, and Nicole Alexis wants to know which Kings of Leon song best describes your life. She said, other than Sex on Fire. Well, that was definitely going to be my answer. Um, I don't know, maybe Charmer. Okay. <laughs> Dude, thanks for being here. This thanks, is fun. Man. Go get some Cheers. rest. I will. I appreciate it. Thank you.